Hello, my name is Alfia. I'm a recreation specialist with Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation. Thank you for participating in our virtual programs. Be sure to subscribe to our Mecklenburg County YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an upcycled school supplies organizer. Really, you can use this organizer for any small objects, but today we'll focus on organizing school supplies. One of the reasons why I love upcycling is because I get to be creative in finding ways to reuse materials I would have otherwise thrown in the trash. Think about all the items you throw away on a daily basis at home or at school, for example. Do you think you could reuse any of those items in a new or creative way? Imagine if we all found ways to upcycle these discarded materials. Planet Earth would thank us for not adding to the fast-growing landfills around the world. For this upcycled school supplies organizer, you'll need the following materials. A small box that will fit various size school supplies that you'll want to organize. I'll be using a box that once held noodle packages. You'll need hot glue, or you can use regular glue, but hot glue will work best to hold the project together much longer. You'll need cardboard rolls. I'll be using empty tissue rolls cans of various sizes, or you can also use the larger lids that come on the top of laundry soap detergent containers. Those work well. You'll need scissors. And depending on how you wanna decorate the outside of your box, whether that's with stickers, um, stencil that you wanna trace, decorative tape, or you can markers to draw, pictures, whatever you want to decorate the outside of your box. I'll be using paper and stickers today. The first thing you wanna do is reinforce the corners of the box with tape to make it hold up much longer, it'll make it stronger. I use packing tape here. It will be covered up later when I decorate the outside of the box. The next step is to decorate the containers or the cardboard tubes that you'll be using to hold your items inside the box. I'm going to use decorative tape, but you can use markers or anything else, or you can draw on the containers that you'll be using. Anything you want to do to make it a little more pleasant to look at. And you'll only see the tops of these holders, so the supply holders, so no need to cover the entire thing. But feel free to do so if you like. Next, glue the tissue rolls or other cardboard tubes you may be using uh, together along the sides. This allows for less wear and tear as you take supplies in and out of your organizer over time. Now it's time to decorate the outside of your box. You can use whatever items you have at home to, for this part. Markers, pens, pencils, paint, fabric, whatever else you have to be creative with to stick it to the sides of the box. This is where the hot glue comes in handy. It works really well for this part. Here's what it looks like, minus the added stickers that you'll see at the end of my video. Next, transfer your containers to the inside of the box and whatever layout works best for you and your supplies. It may take a few tries moving your cans, tubes, or containers around to get it just the way you want. Also, if you have multiple rows of tubes like I do, these two rows of different sizes, feel free to glue each row to another row or keep them separated as I did in mine. It just depends on your preference of how you want to organize the inside of your box with whatever supplies you want to store. Also, you can keep the lids for any containers just depending on your needs. Like you may have push pins or thumbtacks you may not want younger children to have easy access to. Here's what my finished organizer looks like. I hope you enjoyed creating your own upcycled school supplies organizer out of items you had laying around the house. This should help you stay organized while you're completing your school assignments, especially if you're remote learning. Can you think of more ways to upcycle materials you're about to throw out?